Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is me, The Tsukufato, and I've been working as a software developer for over two years now. And in those two years, I have always worked remotely. Like, I've never worked with other people in the office and, like, I don't know what even happens there. But yeah, I've been working remotely. So I thought I'd share my tips of how, you know, I've been doing that for the past two years. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We are on the road to 30k and if you have any questions any comments drop them in the comment section and if you want to share your own tips also drop them in the comment section and let us get started <laughs> is creating a dedicated workspace because you are working from home and you don't want to turn your whole home into an office so I think it's nice to have like a space like this is my workplace and then the rest of the house is like your house so yeah this is my workspace this is where I work and you guys bullied me into getting a second screen but yeah I've been loving it I'll do another video on that but yeah just like a nice space to work like I have my workspace is in my bed because I still do live at home with my parents but I've kind of like created some separation and I also decided to go with like the white because my room is kind of dark so you know it's just lighted it up and I spent a lot of time here so I want to I want it to be nice like I added some lights if you see the little green there in the corner there that's some lights um, you know just to brighten up the space I have you know some books I have some candles over here and stuff so it's just like a nice workspace that I know okay like when I'm here I'm gonna spend I spend a lot of time here so I'm trying to make it as nice as possible so that you know when I'm working I'm still like motivated and also comfortable guys it needs to be I have my nice chair here it looks nice but it's also comfortable so that you know when I'm working I know that I'm relaxed and I can get things done without you know having to be like oh my back <laughs> you know but yeah I think having a dedicated workspace that is is nice is really important you know to keep you moving my next tip would be to take breaks guys it is so important you know take a break to have a snack take a break to go outside guys this one is so important like this one really helps me out a lot I really like to go outside when I have a break so I can you know breathe in some fresh air I can you know feel the sun on my skin I can see the nature and just you know it kind of really refreshes my mind so that when I'm back at my work <laughs> which is like here it's like okay now I'm focused now I'm working and yeah just to be like I think if you just sit here the whole day it is it's just not good for your mental health it's just too much and also um sticking to some kind of schedule like I like to work from like 8 to 1 so I know it's like I'm pushing 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 with you know with some breaks in routine but then I take a long break at 1 where I know I'm having my lunch I'm going outside listening to some music just you know keeping just totally taking a break not just like half eating while I'm working I think just that you know mental pause and a breather is so important and then so that you can be ready to like keep on pushing afterwards yeah so I think taking a break is so important guys don't forget to take a break one of the cons of working remotely is that when you get stuck on something you can't just get up walk to your colleague and ask for some help yes you can reach out to them online but there are going to be times where you need to solve your own problems and that is why I think it is super important to continuously be learning so you know you can keep the mind fresh and ready for these challenges and that is why I really like platforms like Brilliant where you can learn math, science and computer science interactively and Brilliant is actually the sponsor of today's video. They offer thousands of lessons on topics like AI, data science, how technology works, programming and algorithms and I'm actually doing their data structures and algorithms course. I felt like like I needed a little bit of a refresher since Varsity and you know I've been enjoying that course I think it's such a fun and interactive way to learn and they have so many courses whether you're a beginner or if you're more advanced there is definitely something for you so do check it out you can get started for free for 30 days 
and you can get 20% off if you use my link which is brilliant.org slash tsukhofato and this is for the first 200 people that use this link. I will also leave it in the description so do check it out and try out their courses guys. I would highly recommend them. When working remotely it is so important to communicate guys. Like I think you know set up those meetings if you need to. Like I know we don't like meetings but sometimes if it needs to happen it needs to happen. If you need some help do ask for some help. I know sometimes you need to solve your own problems but sometimes you're gonna need some help. So if you need some help do reach out for some assistance. I think just being open chatting to your colleagues and it's really nice to have you know the daily stand up so you can communicate with the team find out what's happening with everyone so everyone can find out what's happening with you. So just having that you know that open communication within your team I think that's really great it keeps you know that's you know momentum because I think we're so far apart so we need to be connected in some way so it's nice to have those virtual connections whether it's on like platforms like teams slack having the virtual meetings I think just you know communicating with the people that you're working with at the end of the day we all have you know a common goal we're all trying to accomplish something so we're gonna need to work together no matter how far apart we are we to be you know consistently staying up to date like finding out what people are working on and how different solutions work and so on so that we can also kind of learn from one another and accomplish our main goal at the end of the day last and definitely not least is maintaining a healthy work-life balance guys like I think when you're working like this is my office but this is also my bedroom like so things lines can get a little bit blurred so I think it's so important to keep those two separated as much as possible what really works for me and I already mentioned earlier is to have a schedule like I know like 8 to 5 I'm working and that's when I'm doing my work but then when that's done then I can do my life then at five o'clock this becomes my bedroom again this becomes my studio <laughs> performing these videos but between eight to five this is my office so I think just whatever works for you um, I know I'm supposed to be giving some tips but it can be different but I think it is so important guys like create your schedule create if you can separate your spaces separate your sp uh, spaces and just just keep it separate like I think it is so important for the mental health and to keep it going like I've been doing this for two years now and I think I, I think I'm doing okay. I, I think I'm doing pretty okay. But yeah, I think you know, just keeping things separate and making sure that when you're working, work time is work time, and focus on that. And then after work, as after work, that is your time to do your own things. And I think that just keeps that healthy balance between the two but yeah guys those are my five tips for today I really hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful and please feel free to drop any tips that you know are working for you working um, remotely drop them in the comment section if you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe we are on the road to 30k and I will catch you in the next video bye